Hi you guys, welcome to Poetic Deafness. So, a lot of people have been asking me, why signing? Why signing? It's simple, because um, there are a lot of deaf and hard of hearing people out there. And me, I am one of them. Not a lot of people know because obviously I'm a head, well actually I'm pretty sure a lot of people do know because of the fact that I'm very vocal about it. I'm very, um, I'm, I'm very talkative about being deaf and being hard of hearing and what signing is to us and how important it is. Being that I grew up without without my family, you know, learning how to sign or anything. You know, as a kid, my mother actually refused to sign. Like, she refused to sign. So, which is why I decided to start learning ASL and to go into majoring into ASL. So, why? It's because I need it. I need it. Um, I have progressive hearing loss, which means that it can decline and I can lose it at any given moment, which is why I say that learning ASL is very important. So for me, it's not really optional. Some people have the option to do it, some people don't. So some people say, oh, you don't even look deaf or you don't even look hard of hearing. I'm thinking like, how was, like, how? Like, how is, you know, uh, a hard of hearing person supposed to look? Like, how is a deaf person supposed to look? Hearing person supposed to look? I, I think I'm a pretty normal looking person. I may have, you know, lost some of the accent, yes, but nonetheless, I do wear hearing aids. I do sign a little bit. So, I mean, that's the important of signing. Growing up, I thought I was the only one that was like struggling with these issues. I thought I was the only one that was, you know, facing being the only you know hard of hearing person in my family and not having you know proper resources like that is what i thought like apparently i thought i was the only one but apparently not you know <laughs> being thrown into like mainstream schools and um you know meeting other you know deaf and hard of hearing people i witnessed you know some of them go through the exact same thing that i go through there's some some deaf people that don't know sign at all some that only sign and don't speak some that speak and sign and some that you know all the above some that wear hearing aids some that wear cochlear implants some that don't so um yeah you i mean nowadays the world is so diverse that you know you it's it's not you know it's not that hard so yeah that's my take on it however you know in in asl american sign language is not only used in the united states but it's also used in canada it's also used in certain countries in africa i love it like i mean don't get me wrong sign language overall is fun I, it's a phenomenal and amazing language amazing language like everybody says oh italian and french is one of the love languages and yeah you know they are however you know it really doesn't get more beautiful than you know learning sign to communicate with the with the deaf and hard of hearing community you know you're able to accommodate yourself to fit their needs it's not the other way around so yeah that's my take on it um that's pretty much it. So yeah, see you guys later.